It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and if you've been following the new Tesco beer launch closely on the channel we started off with the Vocation Roll With It, we moved on to Salt Denim and then we had this choice, we had this amazing choice where I was holding up two cans of Great Leeds Yorkshire Beer, they were both 8% ABV, we had the Northern Monk Eternal Haze and, and then we had the, the Abstract Lens from, from North Brewing Company. And I just didn't know where to go. I didn't know where to start. I didn't know which beer to crack open next. So I just went with one of a meanie meanie type of thing. Um, I went with the Northern Monk beer. So next up in the Tesco Craft Beer launch is the North Brewing Company's double IPA, 8% ABV called Abstract Lens. This will be bet between £3 and £3.50 in your local Tesco. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. It's a 440 milliliter can. Fresh off the press. Oh, that was difficult, wasn't it? Fresh off the press. Uh, this, this beer has just been launched into Tesco. And what a beer it's looking to be. It's got a fantastic three to four finger white head. Good levels of carbonation rolling up the glass. But look at the colour of the beer. This is, I think this is, these guys are real beer magicians. Oh, what was the so I remember about a year or two ago, North Brewing Company launched their first beer into a supermarket. It was indeed Tesco. It was a red can of beer. And it was completely mind-blowing. It was completely mind-blowing beer. It was terrific, terrific, terrific beer. Um, North. Oh, I can't remember now. Anyway, it was a brilliant beer and it got everybody who didn't know about North Brewing Company talking about North Brewing Company. One of the best brewers in the UK without a shadow of a doubt. This is why I'm so excited to be... Well, I'm looking at this beer. I'm, first of all, I'm looking at this beer and I'm thinking this is, this is looking great. If I wanted a double IPA in a glass, this is exactly what I want to be looking at. It's straw coloured. There's no dark malts in here. Uh, this just looking at this beer, I can tell you that they they've used the the malt to to just put the hops on a platform. They've used some light malt here that all it's doing is producing sugar to then produce the alcohol. You're not going to get any biscuity, bready, nutty, digestive bars, freshly baked bread stuff going on here. This this is all about promoting the hops it looks great it does let's get the aroma oh yeah 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 <laughs> wow oh and it's almost you're almost getting the hops like like tickling the end of your nose here loads of Fleshy blood orange. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit. Mixed fruits. It's like sticking your head in a punch bowl. You know where you, you, your family... I'm the black sheep of the family. I always have been. I always will be. I'm the type of guy I'll turn up to my posh auntie's party and stick my head in the, in the punch bowl. You know, that sort of thing. If you could think about that situation, if you could think about me putting my head in a punch bowl, then then just sticking my nose into this beer very much feels like the same experience. Oh, it smells fantastic. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh. 
so good. It's so good. Oh, look, look, they, they can condition the beer. Look, you can see. Have a look now, there's sediment. Now, if you're new to beer, if you tuned into this beer because you've just bought these beers in Tesco and you have the same experience as me, you're seeing all these little bits of lumps and clumps float into the bottom of your glass, don't be alarmed. Don't be alarmed. It's exactly what the brewer wants. They've added all of this lovely sediment to the beer because actually that's where the flavour is. That's all of your flavour. Is a nice hazy sedimenty beer. It may not look great, but guess what, everybody? You don't drink with your eyes. You drink with your mouth. And when you drink this beer, you take it in. There's so much going on. Passion fruit, mango, grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. There's a nice medium mouthfeel to the beer. I believe that the brewers used oats. You get that oaty creaminess. It's when you boil oats on a pan and you have oats in the morning, you're left with that kind of white creamy stuff in the bottom of the pan. If you could imagine that where they've added the oats into the beer and, and that same creaminess has leaked into the beer, that's exactly what you're looking at here. You can visually see it with your eyes, that oaty creaminess. Look at the lacing on the glass. Look at the way the beer's behaving. It's absolutely fabulous. I'm so impressed with this Tesco beer launch. I cannot begin to tell you how impressed I am with this Tesco beer launch. I made a video, I think only a year ago, where I suggested that Morrisons have just slam dunked Tesco beers and, and Morrisons have become the number one supermarket beer. I tell you what, I tell you what, if there was a way of hitting back and if there was a way of saying actually, we started this whole beer in the supermarket thing. It was Tesco and we want our crown back. We want our mantle back. We want that Champions League trophy back. Then they've just won it. They have just won it by this set of beers alone. And I've still got two to go. I've got a triple IPA at 10% and I've got a Imperial Banana Chocolate Banana stout coming in at 11.4% ABV. Uh, what's for tea tonight? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to make tea for the family. Uh, there might be some kind of burger in the microwave at this stage. <laughs> no gourmet meal tonight. We got some strong beer to review. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, it's actually a collaboration. I haven't mentioned the other brewer involved in this. It's a collaboration uh, with Alpha Delta. And it's described as a smooth, hazy double IPA featuring Idaho 7, Talus and Citra hops. Bursting with ripe, juicy, tropical flavour. <sighs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Look at, I mean, look, look at these four beers. Look at these four beers so far in Tesco. They're just bonkers. And I'm going to say, hopefully you know by now with this channel that I'm independent. Um, if it's bad, it's bad. I say it's bad. If it's great, I say it's great. Um, I, I'm being absolutely 100% genuine here. I was in Tesco yesterday. I picked these beers up myself. Um, there's no underhand stuff going on. I haven't received a check from Tesco. This is just me buying beer and being excited about beer and being excited about beer and craft beer going forward. Um, I like this beer. I like this North Brewing beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 beer from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.